What if I told you that everything you're about to hear will make taking the red pill feel like child's play? We're not here to prove we live in a simulation. We're here to look at brand new science that says a traditional computer simulation is mathematically impossible. And then watch reality get even weirder than the Matrix ever dreamed. Hit that subscribe button right now, because you're not going to want to miss what's coming. Let's dive in. In 2003, philosopher Nick Bostrom dropped a bomb. He said at least one of these has to be true. 1. Civilizations go extinct before they can build ancestor simulations. 2. They get the tech, but choose not to run them. 3. Or, we're almost certainly living in one of the simulations. Billions of simulated people for every one real one. Statistically, you're probably code. That idea exploded. People started calling every weird coincidence a glitch in the matrix. But in October 2025, everything flipped upside down. A team at UBC Okanagan, led by Dr. Mir Faisal, published a paper that uses Gödel's incompleteness theorems to prove any true universe contains truths that no algorithm can ever fully describe. Translation, any simulation has to be 100% algorithmic, but reality contains non-algorithmic truths. Therefore, reality cannot be a simulation. Full stop. Game over for the classic, we're living in a computer story. So, are we done here? Is base reality confirmed? Not even close. Because once you rule out the matrix, the universe starts looking way stranger. Take the double slit experiment. Fire electrons at two slits with no detectors. You get a wave interference pattern. Put detectors on. Bam, two bands. Particles. It's not that measurement disturbs them. MIT ran the cleanest version ever in 2025 with single atoms and single photons. Result? The universe literally decides whether to be a wave or a particle based on whether it's being watched. Ask yourself, what is watching? Some physicists say consciousness itself collapses the wave function. Others hate that idea. But nobody has a better one that doesn't secretly smuggle consciousness in through the back door. There are six numbers in physics. Change any of them by a hair and stars, planets, chemistry, life, gone. The cosmological constant is tuned to one part in 10 to the power of 120. That's a one with 120 zeros. Stephen Hawking called it the most remarkable fact in all of physics. Random chance. Statistically laughable. Multiverse. Maybe. Or someone. Or something. Set the dials on purpose. Here's where it gets mind-bending. The holographic principle, proven mathematically with the ads slash CFT correspondence, says all the information in a volume of space can be encoded on its surface. Think of the universe like a 3D movie projected from a 2D film. Volume itself might be an illusion. And physicist Melvin Vopsen just published evidence for something he calls the second law of infodynamics. Information entropy actually decreases in living systems. That's the opposite of what happens in normal physics, unless the universe is optimizing like a giant piece of software. Millions of people swear the kids' books were spelled Berenstein with an A. They're wrong. It's always been Berenstain with an A. But when tens of millions of people share the exact same false memory. In the Matrix, deja vu is the sign they change something. Maybe collective false memories are the sign something changed and most of us didn't get the patch notes. And then there's Jung's synchronicity. Meaningful coincidences that are so improbable they feel orchestrated. Apophenia. Sure, sometimes, but sometimes the math just doesn't add up for pure chance. Brand new 2025 papers propose reality is literally observer-dependent. Different beings run at different frame rates. Higher energy, higher frame rate, finer slice of time. Time dilation in relativity, not space-time curving. Just two observers experiencing different refresh rates. Spatial contraction, same deal. The universe isn't one objective thing. It's a multiplayer experience where your personal rendering depends on your hardware, your consciousness. Here's the plot twist nobody expected. If consciousness collapses reality, if the universe needs observers to manifest, if information is more fundamental than matter, then you're not a bug. You are a feature. You're not some accidental meat robot on a wet rock. Your attention, your choices, your awareness might literally be part of what holds reality together. That's not diminishing. That's the most epic upgrade imaginable. We can't live in a traditional computer simulation. Math forbids it. 
but the universe still behaves suspiciously like an information system that's responsive to observation, optimized to an insane degree, rendered differently for every conscious observer, and occasionally throws deja vu, synchronicities, and collective memory glitches that feel an awful lot like hotfixes. So here's the real red pill. Reality is not less real because it's weirder than we thought. It's more real, more alive, more responsive to you than any materialist ever admitted. We may never know the final answer, but the evidence keeps pointing in one direction. You matter. Your mind matters. What you pay attention to might literally matter more than physics textbooks ever told us. If this video blew your mind even a little bit, do three quick things. One, smash the like button. It really helps the algorithm. Two, subscribe and hit the bell, because next week we're diving into whether AI can ever become conscious, and what that would mean for reality itself. Three, drop your craziest glitch story in the comments. Mandela effect, synchronicity, premonition, best ones get pinned. Thanks for spending these minutes questioning reality with me. I'll see you in the next frame.